I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question based on vectors. We'll see how to find intersection of a line with that of a sphere. The question here is, a sphere with center at the origin and radius of square root 26 units is represented by the equation x square plus y square plus z square equals 26. Find the points where the line through A 3 minus 1 minus 2 and 5 3 minus 4 meets the sphere. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now to solve this, let's first find the equation of line. We are given two points so we can find the direction. Let's say M is the direction between these two points. Then this could be written as 5 minus 3, let me write, 5 minus 3, 3 minus minus 1, which is 3 plus 1, minus 4 minus 2, so minus 4 plus 2. So the direction is 2, 4, and uh, that is minus 2. Well, we can write it in simpler form, right? So uh, we could even write this as taking two common we can write this as 1, 2, and minus 1. Okay? So that becomes the direction. So the vector equation of this line, L1, let's say, will be, we can write this as using point A, which is 3 minus 1, minus 2. The equation of line could be written with a parameter T and the direction 1, 2, minus 1. So that becomes the equation of our line. We know that sphere is being represented by x square plus y square plus z square equals to 26. Okay. So sphere is x square plus y square plus z square equals to 26. Now in this equation, if I put a general point x, then we can actually find the point of intersection. So a general point x will be 3 plus t, right? y will be minus 1 plus 2t, and z is going to be minus 2 minus t. So these are my general points. Substituting these points in the equation of the sphere, we'll get our point of intersection. So let's do it. So we get this as 3 plus t whole square plus y is, let me write this as 2t minus 1 whole square. And for z, it is, because it is square, well, they'll become both positive equals to 26. Let's expand. So we get 9 plus 3 times 2, 6, 60. 4t square, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, 9 plus 60 plus, let me write t square first. t square and then 4t square minus 4t plus 1. And here we get square of minus 2 which is so this is basically t plus 2 whole square right so we get 4 plus 4t plus t square equals to 26 good so let's combine all the terms now so, so t square plus 4t square is 5t square and 16t square okay as far as t is concerned we have uh, 60 minus 40 is 2t, this is 0, okay, so 60. The constants 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 4, 14, equals to 26. Bringing 26 on this side, we get 6t square plus 60 plus 14 minus 26 equals to 0. So that's a quadratic equation. 6t square plus 60. And uh, that gives us minus 
12 equals to 0. We can take 6 common. Okay, 6 t squared. Taking 6 common, we get t squared plus t minus 2 equals to 0. And that can be factored. So we get 6 times t plus 2 times t minus 1 equals to 0. So this gives you two values of t, which is minus 2 and t equals to plus 1. So for these two values, we'll get two different points. So the sphere is going to intersect at these two points, correct? So let's substitute these values here and find the answer. Okay. So so we can say uh, for t equals to, let me write here, t uh, equals to, let's say 1, right? So in that case, what is the point? So if I put t as 1, we get here 3 plus 1 as 4, and t as 1, 2 minus 1 as 1, and t as 1 means minus 3. So one point of intersection here is 4 1 minus 3 correct the other point let me write t as equal to minus 2 so if I write t as minus 2 in this equation 3 minus 2 is 1 uh, minus 2 times minus 2 is 4 minus that gives us minus 5 and minus 2 will make this plus so that gives us 0 so the other point here is 1 minus 5, 0. Perfect. So these are the two points which you get uh, by from these equations. And so our answer here is 4, 1 minus 3 and 1 minus 5, 0. Correct? So that is how we are going to solve it. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to go through this once again and try to understand. In the beginning, we tried to find the equation of the line using the two points. So the direction between them was simplified as 1, 2, minus 1. That helps in calculations. Taking point A, we got our equation x equals to 3 plus t, y equals to minus 1 plus 2t, z equals to minus t, minus 2 minus t. Substituting these points into the equation of the sphere, and then expanding and simplifying, we got the value of t. That was the only variable. And putting back t in the equation of line, you got the point of intersections, right? So that is how it could be solved. Now, as an extension, you can always find the distance between that if required. I hope it works. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.